All right, Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Ties of War. Back at you again with another lesson. And this one is in the book of Psalms, chapter 73. All right, yesterday somebody had asked me a question. And I had uh, thought of this scripture because they were saying, you know, why is the wicked uh, prosperous? You know, and though it seems as though they are, but really they're cursed. You know, you know, when you look at Esau, you know, the story of Jacob and Esau, when you check out Esau, Esau was blessed from Isaac. All right. But it was a false blessing. So really, Esau has a curse bless. You know, his blessing is to live by the sword, to have the fatness of the earth. You know, but to live by the sword is like a curse because you reap what you sow. You know, they rob, steal, kill, and destroy. Another name for Esau is the, son of, the sons of perdition, the sons of the wicked. So, you know, when you look at it, Jake, who who prosper and wickedness, you know, and it seems like they persevered through the troubles that we all going through, all right? Being though we living in these times, it's all temporary. And their reward is gonna lead them to a greater destruction. See, we have a greater reward because for one, the Lord have called us into this ministry and we believe, you know, he talked about us in the heavens and had an angel wake us up through the prophets, through the men of the Lord, and we believe. So it's our job to hold on to that all the way to the end, okay? And being that we believe, Yahweh Shai, he promised us that we'll have an everlasting world, all right? A world without end, you know? To where when he activate the new covenant, he'll even twerk our bodies and change us to make us perfect okay so that we keep the law in our inward parts and we'll never uh transgress the lord the lord laws we'll be with yahweh shy he'll be among us okay see but when you look at it now you know you look at jake you see what's going on it's starting to get warm outside you know wicked niggas having nice little cars women see you think about it too even for you women a lot of these women who got the nice bodies, you know, like the bangingest bodies, you want to call it, you know, they all wicked, you know, and majority, you know, women who, who are uh, wicked have the big boobs and nice curvy shape, big old butt, you know, that's why you see them in the rap videos, and you might be saying, well, damn, how hairy, how hairy I am. You know, wish you could have a body like that, you know, but they using their body to be a whore and you're not. See, everything is temporal and I don't want to keep rambling on. Matter of fact, I'm going to get a, let me get a scripture. This is in the book of Job 20 and verse five, right? Because though it seemed as though the wicked is prosperous, you know, they on top, they are for the moment. But they're coming, they're, their world's coming to an end. Matter of fact, the scriptures speak on a constellation, meaning they have received their constellation. We haven't received ours yet. All right, scriptures say uh, uh, the Lord will set a mark, all right, which that mark is the Hebrew word, the Y, which he will exempt from the day of his judgment, okay? Where he says uh, he will set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that's done in the midst thereof. So when you even think or you're mad at yourself, you're suffering and having those thoughts, it's because you're actually suffering. And that's a good thing on this side. We're suffering in the Lord, not suffering for being wicked, all right, per se, that we have to be uh, corrected, which in, in a nutshell, we are, you know, we all suffering for being wicked. All right, in one lifetime, this one, and even the one previous before, all right, or as a nation. But we're suffering because 
we're crying out for all the abominations that be done in the midst of we're suffering because you know the the god forsaken wicked society we live in and the lord is taking us out of this world and we're not a part of this world that's why you're suffering all right so this is job 20 and 5 that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment okay see that the triumphing of the wicked is short see there their triumphing is, is very short it's a moment you know when you look at things and see it for what it is or see it for as the moment you know you don't really get all you don't really uh how can i say when you see things as a moment you don't feel like you you losing out okay if that makes sense you know it's a nice sunny day you know and someone told me they wanted to get out here right but in my mind i'm saying it's only because it's sunny you know and they feel like they need to do this and do that it's just a moment in a few hours you ain't even gonna feel like that you got tomorrow you know live for another day lord's will you do it tomorrow why rush right it's a moment and that moment is about due so it says that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment so the hypocrite which they are okay is just for a moment man it's temporary see we have a a kingdom that's everlasting that's not temporary all right i wanted to pause the video and uh bring this scripture out instead of putting it through the post-production because i thought it was very edifying to the lesson and uh this is second corinthians 4 16 it says for which cause we faint not but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. And that inward man is our spirit. We're being renewed every day. All right. You know, the Lord ins install our instructions when we sleep. You know, that's why it's a must that we constantly pray. As Yahweh Shai said, pray without ceasing. You know, so we can stay, you know, in that right spirit and that the Lord renew our spirit day by day. And it says the outward man perish, meaning the flesh. It says, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So you want a clean heart every day. You know, you want a, a, a clear conscience, you know, not a broken bone, so to say, you know, where you, you shamed and you're down. You know, we want positive vibes, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 17, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, working for us a far more exceeding an eternal weight of glory so really what what this is is a light affliction you know we're crying out to the lord you know and we're down okay but we're up okay we're uh despised okay but not in despair all right as the scriptures say we're uh we're more than conquerors through him that love us so it says for our light affliction you know sometimes them demons jump on you they get in your mind they make you think certain things and being envious of the wicked you know that's that's just foolishness okay because once we have understanding of these scriptures we know the reward for the wicked just just as well as we know the reward for the righteous so it says for our light affliction which is but for a moment working for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory so we have glory through Yahweh Shai that's coming it says verse 18 while we look not at the things which are seen but the but at the things which are not seen for things which are seen are temporal but the things which are not seen are eternal and that's the point let me read that again while we look not at the things which are seen but at the things which are not seen for the things which are seen are temporal which is everything we see right now and everything that we have it says but the things which are not seen are eternal you know and that's why it takes great faith you know that's why we have to pray for uh, to the lord for that faith you know the lord gives faith as a gift and we want to pray for a lot of it you know there's really no measurement to faith you know you either got it or you don't you know today you can have faith tomorrow you know you can have no faith but we want to remain with the faith all the way to the end all right now it says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds, yet shall he perish forever like his own dung. 
they which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. Now, ultimately, we know this is talking about Esau. But when you, you know, you can fold it to Jake. Now, it says the excellency. When you go into this word excellency, here in the blue letter, and the Hebrew word there, hold on. Let's go back. Get it right. Shaya, Shaya, right? It says loftiness of pride. Okay. And then he says elevation, excellency. We go to the lexicon, it says elevation, height. So we're talking about their pride, which is elevated at the height of their pride, which is their excellency. And even two thirds, all right, Jake, Jake, like that. You know, you look at these rappers, they got, you know, the videos, they got the horse woman, big old booties, right? Big old tig old bitties, okay? Fine looking women, you know, cars, jewelry, and they, and they flexing, pointing guns in the camera, acting tough, rough, you know, mobsters, gangsters, okay? They at the excellency. The height and elevation of their pride and though it seems as though they're prospering because you see the 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 things beside them that's all temporary within a moment it's going to be taken away it says though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds meaning he's pride man he's prideful yet he shall perish forever like his own dung they which have seen him shall say where is he Okay, because ultimately it's talking about Esau because eventually this kingdom and what you call America is going to be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear fire. And there's going to be no remembrance, no memorial to remember this wicked society in which we live in. This place you call America, the Lord is going to leave, you know, no, no, no monument. Okay, nothing in remembrance but the destruction itself. And that destruction alone is going to have you know that this was the portion that was given to a wicked man. Matter of fact, if I read the last verse here in Job 20 and 29, this is the portion of a wicked man from Yahweh and the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh. Okay? So now, real quick, and I'm gonna end this show. I don't wanna make it long. Going back to the book of Psalms, chapter 73, to answer, you know, to the question that was asked to me. And I, this wasn't a question to ask on a comment boy of someone in person. All right. So it says Psalm 73 and 1. A psalm of Asap, truly the, the most high, is good to Israel, even to such as are of a clean heart. But as for me, my feet were almost gone. My steps had well nigh slipped. For I was envious at the foolish when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. You know, being jealous because you're seeing the wicked prosper. You're seeing the wicked get up on one, you know, and that's just nothing but Satan and demons, man. You know, that's that's all that is. OK, you know, first thing we have to do is you have to pray. OK, you always have to constantly pray to stay in the spirit. OK, you know, no matter what you're going through, whether up or down, you're always constantly supposed to be praying, man. You know, doing the things that the Lord delight in. All right. Whether giving, supporting. You know, if you're not a prophet, not a teacher, the case may be, you know, you are confessing your 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 uh, your, your sins to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, repenting every day, you know, over and over, working on yourself, examining yourself, you know, as the Apostle Gabar always say, having integrity, being sincere, all right, you know, these are the things that we have to work on every day, and that's how. You know, you can set yourself off in, a, in a, a, good, a better vibration than to thinking of things like the wicked having their way. Fuck them. And I'm just being, excuse my French, that's just the truth. It is what it is, man. All right, this is not our time. Remember the scripture where uh, Satan took Shai to the highest point of the pinnacle, okay? And he showed them all of the worlds. He showed them all these things. And he asked, he told the Lord to bow down unto him. But Yahweh Shah cut him, said, get thee behind me, Satan, okay? So you better know that this society was is, is Satan's society. Uh, 
thinking of a scripture should I grab, but uh yeah. I ended with this one. This is uh 2 Corinthians 4 and uh verse 3 it says, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Verse 4, here's the point. 2 Corinthians 4 and 4. And whom the God of this world have blinded the minds of them which believe not, least the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh Shai, who is the image of Yahweh should shine unto them. All right, you know, that's basically the point. So hopefully, I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.